came in and he said that this offseason they he took off in the summer but really focused on that slider as he gets a slider on the inside corner for a called strike three. Defensive alignment in the outfield is at center field. Datris gets that bunt down as he pushes it to first base side. He's going to make Perry tag him out and ensure that both runners move up. Sacrifice does its job. And, and has some over the fence power. Hits this one out into the left center field gap and it is going to be down for at least one run. They're going to wave paint around third. No throw coming home. And North Carolina strikes early. They've got themselves a 2-0 lead. Tar Heels and Cavaliers could be a good one. First one was good as they played in Virginia. There's that slider. And LeBlanc could not lay off it, even though it was out of the strike zone. Second K for Bukowskis. He's, he's fastballs right now. He's not really airing it out. 2-2 two, two fastball again. Blows it by him. Top scoring teams in the nation. And just ran into a hot pitcher yesterday, Zach Allen, as that one's on the outside corner. Perry watches it goes by as Bukowskis gets the first two with strikeouts. A 7-0 win. Louisville with two wins as Pate drops a bunt down, barehanded, and the throw is not going to be in time from Johnson. Runners in from scoring position with less than two outs, and they will. He's going to hit it on the ground to Yanni, and that will score Pate from third. North Carolina has now got themselves a 3 to nothing lead here in the bottom of the third inning. Execution is so much different than it was the previous two seasons. Ramirez puts a drive into this one. It is high, it is deep, and it is out of here. A long home run for Tyler Ramirez, and North Carolina is now up four to nothing. Ramirez's second home run of the season, first one since the opening weekend at UCLA. And he was shagging flies pregame, as you noted, Kyle. I thought they were going to start him in the outfield as Bukowskis gets that one in there for a called strike three. Here's the 2-2, two -two. it is the slider, and Wright cannot hold up as he goes around. That is the second strikeout for Wright of the day, and seven for Bukowski. Accepted, but happens in baseball all the time, as that one is going to be in there for the third strike. It was the slider from Bukowski. Tar Heels would love to get six or maybe even seven innings out of him today. On the outside corner for the cold strike three. Looking for his 10th strikeout of the day. Here's the one, two, and he's going to get it as he comes and challenges him with a fastball high. Weren't big rolls last year or even the year before that and have really stepped up so far. Look and there's a strikeout the for Bukowskis as he completely froze Perry. The other umpires will be pop out of that stance too quick. This one's on the ground towards second. Sutherland with a backhand to warm it. The throw to first, four, six, three, double play. Gets the Tar Heels out of the seventh. But a couple of those plays from Ramirez kind of shows what the coaching staff's talking about. Here's a grounder to Datris. He will throw to first and get the out. The Tar Heels will get the win and the series victory as they improve to 12-1 on the season.